Our next story is about a major breakthrough. It's about India's first indigenous antibiotic. Let's tell you all that you need to know. First things first, what is it called? Nafitromycin. And what does it help with? It is effective against drug-resistant respiratory infections. Let's just break that down for you. Basically, this is particularly significant for those with weak immunity. Now that India has developed that first indigenously discovered antibiotic, it marks a significant milestone in the country's pursuit of self-reliance in the pharmaceutical and biotechnology sectors. It's a huge feat. It has been conceptualized, developed and clinically tested in India. It is a significant step, in fact, a huge step forward when it comes to self-reliance. In fact, the Union Science and Technology Minister has said that this antibiotic is effective against resistant respiratory infections, particularly beneficial for cancer patients and those with poorly controlled diabetes. He also highlighted another major scientific achievement, a successful indigenous clinical trial for gene therapy in the treatment of hemophilia. Supported by the Department of Biotechnology, the trial was conducted at Christian Medical College in Velour, Tamil Nadu. He said the therapy recorded a 60 to 70 percent correction rate with zero bleeding episodes, adding that the findings have been published in the New England Journal of Medicine, saying that India has already sequenced over 10,000 human genomes and aims to expand that number to 1 million in the coming years, further emphasizing that the country must develop a self-sustainable ecosystem to drive its scientific and research growth. The U.S. Army is reportedly developing lightweight fire and forget missiles, small enough to, for medium drones, designed to strike even when GPS is jammed. The program, called the Symbiotic UAS Delivery System, aims to let a single aircraft launch multiple strikes. Engineers are aiming to build a weapon that carries roughly two pounds of explosives, weighs no more than five pounds total and reaches targets beyond four kilometers while cruising near 100 kilometers per hour. That's not all. The drone must land within about 16 feet of its mark and operate in GPS-denied environments under heavy electronic attack. To beat the jamming, the missile pairs a tiny inertial measurement unit with computer vision and onboard AI. Cameras and image, watching, image matching algorithms will basically guide the round when radio navigation fails, allowing it to see the battlefield and home in on a target without actually relying on GPS. The effort builds on lessons from the Russia-Ukraine war, where battlefield jamming pushed developers, especially in Ukraine, to adopt alternative guidance methods. More countries now test AI-enabled systems that locate targets without satellite signals and frontline users are deploying drones and weapons that retain strong autonomy in contested airspace. The U.S. Army's project starts first with a feasibility study. And if that succeeds, developers will be building prototypes and then scale to production and fielding. U.S. Army officials also say the same navigation tools could help civilian drones from bridge inspections to hazardous material surveys. In short, a missile that finds its way by sight would change the battlefield dynamics and expand tactical options. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.